Today I'm going to be building some sort of a transportation device for our subwoofer. It's around 40 kilos, so it's a bit of a pain in the ass to carry it around. So it should be easier just to get it on wheels. got this idea earlier today when we were visiting the hardware store with Jarko and then I remembered that we have this lifelong dream to have the subwoofer on wheels so I bought these wheels and some screws and I thought that I will probably find some sort of a plywood piece to stick them to and I found this beautiful piece of plywood <laughs> right outside the Anzai Improving Ground. And then I cut it in half and now I'm inserting the wheels. And then I need to find some sort of a strap to get this tied into the subwoofer. I wanted to have wheels with locks because we are transporting the subwoofer mostly on a trailer and we don't want the subwoofer to be sliding all over the place so that's why we have lock wheels sell these screws in packs of 15 and I needed 16 screws so I needed to buy two packs just to get one more have now been attached and it's time for a test run. So I ran into my first problem because of not having taken any measurements. It was almost the right size but the plywood didn't exactly fit between the pads at the bottom of the subwoofer. So I need to take a little piece off. Back to sawing. fits just a tiny little adjustment and it should be fine 
Okay, that looks much better. I tied the subwoofer to the wheels with a strap. I don't know if it's gonna be good in the long run, but let's see. Let's have a test run with the subwoofer on the wheels. It's not perfect. The cords on the floor are a bit of an obstacle, but still it beats carrying the subwoofer. So I think it was worth it, but real life tests are still ahead. So we'll have to see how it performs in real situations. Mm -hmm.